Hi friends, let's prepare Romali roti. It's a wonderful recipe. It's excellent to be served with uh, gravies like mutton curry and chicken curry. Romali means handkerchief. This roti is super thin and it should be served very hot. Let's look into the ingredients and get started. What I've done is I've taken a mixing bowl. To that I'm going to add all-purpose flour which is sifted for 2 to 3 times. And to this I'll add salt as per taste. I'll mix the salt and all-purpose flour till it's well combined. The main ingredient that we need to add in this is milk. Milk should be nice and warm. We should not add water at any given point. We should add only milk to prepare this rumali roti dough. I'm adding warm milk little by little. I'll give this a good mix and form a dough. A chapati dough consistency. Now once the dough is formed, I'll add 2 tablespoons of oil. And now comes the tough part. We need to knead this for at least 10 to 15 minutes. We need to knead the dough vigorously till it's nice and smooth. After kneading it for 10 to 15 minutes, you can see how soft the dough is. Once I just press it, it's springing back. Soak the dough for half an hour to 15 minutes time before preparing your rotis. Take a big lime size ball or a golf size ball of the dough. Roll it. Dip it in some flour. And now start preparing the rotis. Now you need to roll this into very thin rotis. Take your own time. Dust your surface well with maida and roll your rotis. It should be nice and thin. Roll all the edges first so that the roti is nice and thin. We cannot store this roti or we cannot uh, uh, refrigerate this roti. It will become very rough and we cannot chew. So we have to prepare this while people are sitting on the table and waiting for their rotis. We cannot uh, store this, uh, we cannot prepare this ahead of time and store it. You can see how thin we have rolled the roti. It's almost paper thin. Now we are just going to transfer this uh, roti on um, skillet which is nice and hot. I have uh, heated the skillet on medium flame and I am going to fry this roti just for 2 minutes. That's it. Since this roti is very thin, there are chances for it to go very crispy and it will turn hard. So make sure you always have an eye on this while you are frying it and it should be soft by with very light brown bubbles on top. That's it. The roti is done. You can remove it from the flame and serve it right away. We have to prepare this cautiously and uh, not burn the roti at the same time. It should uh, still have that white color and it should not uh, burn. You should be very fast in preparing these rotis. In case I have missed any tips on this video, you can always visit my blog. Blog link will be posted in the about bar below this video or you can click the i card on this video which will directly direct you to my blog. Also like me and follow me on my Facebook uh, for regular updates. Facebook link will also be in the about bar below this video. The same recipe is also posted in YouTube Tamil. Do subscribe to my YouTube Tamil if you are a South Indian. 
all the links to my social media and uh, youtube channel channel link will be the, in the about bar below this video now my romali roti is done i'm just going to serve it right away hot and nice do try this recipe and post your comments friends if you like this video give me a thumbs up and subscribe to me for more videos i will be seeing you soon with the next recipe video this is vidya lakshmi until next time thank you so much for watching bye bye